Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, we're going to be going over the brand new Humble Bundle that just dropped. It is the best of Cinti game dev assets number five. If you want to support my channel, feel free to use the affiliate link in the description below to get this Humble Bundle for the low price of $30. You can get all 17 items. Comes with quite a few polygon items, an animation pack, interface pack, and even a $10 code for the Cinti store, as well as really nice uh, nature biomes, street racer. And now that Unreal's dropped the new uh, car racing starter template, you can easily just swap these out for these low poly styles and even a really nice modular mech pack along with the sci-fi city pack, which I've gone over quite a, quite a few times on my channel. And there's also a lot of mobile ready assets if you're into mobile game development. Uh, I know that's where the money's at right now, so. Let's go ahead and actually open these up and I'll be opening the HUD in Unity because Cinti actually makes their HUDs in Unity very usable because if they made it like 10 years ago, it would still work today in Unreal Engine um, with every new update, they would have to modify it quite a bit. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first pack I wanna be going over is the arid desert. So you can see very orangey sunset looking skies, black clouds in the background and very low poly trees in this gooey green biome kind of like shrek swamp or just some very poisonous type uh desert biome and we got these cool cactus plants and some futuristic looking space technology kind of like a leftover uh leftover technology on this planet uh looking like a very survival space crafty type game very low poly very cutesy we even have some of these uh giant these little twisty towers looks like some sort of energy generators uh, for a power plant that is within the ground and overall really really cool looking asset we even have some of these animal bones they probably just decayed and died over time due to all the poisonous gas and yeah just a lot of foliage lots of environmental effects overall very very cool assets we also have this bridge over here and this flowing lava we even have this little uh tent hut with a satellite and some cables unplugged and we even have a volcano on the end of this map very cool and out there is kind of like very misty very foggy a lot of uh a lot of unknown to be discovered and let's go ahead and oh well okay i just went over the smoke let's go ahead and check out the next pack so here's a pack i've actually showcased on my channel before this is the horror carnival pack there's a nighttime and a daytime version so as you can see we'll definitely be going over the nighttime we have these uh really nice looking carnival lights just a lot of leds uh very pump or halloween oriented and now that halloween's coming up this might be the perfect pack to release as an update or just a halloween themed game we got all these directions on where to go and it says food and drinks over here so we'll definitely be going on the right um we have these really uh well this is a cute teddy bear but the rest of them are kind of evil creepy looking little plushies that we don't really uh want and food and drinks is apparently on this hot dog truck very nice vehicle looks like something you can put in a racing game we have a restroom a little porta potty over here and uh we got a lot of games. You can make your game very interactable. Have all these little mini games along with this uh, ride where you ride in teacups and spin around. Even a haunted house where you could have the horror actually happen. And I wonder if, so you can actually take the roller coaster inside and really design it. So this would be a really cool experience just to have like in a game, a little roller coaster that you ride. I believe I've seen it in some horror games. And overall, really, really cool. Uh, this actually looks amazing. I would love to see that in an actual game. And we have this giant Ferris wheel and this clown mouth that you can go ahead inside of. And what is going on here? Just a little cannon and a target with a bunch of uh, looking like deadly weapons against it. And we have a little seat for the audience. Very nice. And on that side too. Um, yeah, very cool. We have a, a little swing set here carousels we even have bumper cars oh man this is a throwback yep you got bumper cars here and just all sorts of games um that you could easily turn into a very very scary themed game especially if the power went out next up we have the polygon casino and let's start off by the yummy food on the table so we got these low poly style sushi with wasabi and soy sauce as well as ramen uh, a lot of japanese themed food here and 
popcorn, a phone, soda, and so on. We have this really nice looking uh, hotel lobby theme with this really nice looking sculpture and chandelier. We got some cool effects like this little aquarium up here and as well as a little uh, concierge area or a drinks area and another griffin or pegasus statue with some dice towers and coin towers. We got the crabs table and overall really, really nice, really fancy looking asset. Uh, kind of like you'd see some sort of mafia boss in here or something. And another aquarium along with a concierge or a receptionist. And we have a UFO themed Sin City. So I'm guessing that's where the shows are behind those curtains. And over here we have a mini bathroom or uh, kitchen, I guess, because we have food in here. And we have this car on display. A lot of slot machines on the main floor, as well as a little uh, food truck over here. And some sort of ticket booth and an entrance. Let's see if we can actually go outside. And yes, we can. There is an outdoor. Oh, well, there's a lot of outdoor assets. So we have these buildings, a lot of background buildings. Overall, very nice. I love the aesthetic. I love the aesthetic of the uh, outdoor scene here. Looks really, really nice. Kind of looks like something you'd see in uh, California or Vegas area. Uh, we have this little Eiffel Tower, a little music shop with a guitar and flamingo on it. And we have this balloon, Royal Casino, so even more casinos, a ton of taxi drivers, a little pond over here, and this nice looking sculpture up here as well, a limousine. And yeah, overall, really, really cool looking asset. We got a little stage here uh, for shows and all that. And yeah. Pretty cool looking asset. I do like this one. Uh, this is actually really, really nice. I love the lighting and the atmosphere outside. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. So this is the Kaiju asset. This is one of the smaller ones, but we have these uh, giant Godzilla type characters who's kind of destroying the city. And we have these uh, very Japanese themed text and font like so. And let's go ahead and take a look at the content browser so there is a lot of um let's see the other demo so there is a second one so we have this kind of rain effect of this guy destroying the bridge and this other kaiju uh kind of destroying the city this one looks more like godzilla he's about to go after this helicopter and we see these like broken trucks and so on or cars overall really cool asset let's take a look at the next one so over here we have the polygon street racer and we have these little cool symbols telling our drivers where to go, um, kind of sort of seeing the obstacles and so on. Just a ton of cranes, ton of uh, shipment containers, uh, lots of different models of cars that you can easily attach in. Uh, it's very modular. There's even a little garage. You can go ahead and change up the wheels. All the parts can be separated indeed. They also do have presets of these in full. We even have some cool looking boats over here. A uh, little raceway giving us a speed boost or some something. We have a finish and start thing, kind of like to take multiple laps. And we just have a really cool, nicely laid out map, kind of like on the docks. And overall, pretty cool asset. We have a ton of little uh, barriers to let our drivers know exactly where to go. These little tube lights. And yeah, overall, really nice looking asset. There's a big body of water with more boats. This one, I guess MRCA is just Murica or something. I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and check out the next one. Next up, we have the Polygon base locomotion so we can see walk in multiple directions. These work for both regular Sinti characters and the sidekick characters. Uh, if you're using Unity, you can easily just swap this mesh for whatever character you want. And you do have a WASD movement. It takes like a minute to set up. They even have a tutorial about it on their channel. So over here, we have this turn in place locomotion uh, right here. We have these crouch and turn locomotions, stand to crouch and crouch to stand and so on. And then we have crouch walks in different directions as well as stepping in different directions. And over here is our crouch walks and normal walks in different directions. We also have kind of like a small jog in place or a jog in different directions. And then we also have running and we also have leaning. 
uh, running on a hill, up a hill, down a hill, and so on. And then we also have jump animation, different types of jumps, like a happier jump, a really intense jump, and so on. Kind of looks like charge jumps. And then we also have fall animations and falling loop animations. And the last asset I want to be going over with you is the Apocalypse HUD. So if you're using Unity, these are pretty much ready to be plug and played. They come with really nice animations. You just have to connect, uh, like, for example, the HP bar to your own character's health and so on. And let's actually go ahead and just check it out. And they do have a HUD demo that you can actually check out. It's cintistudios.com slash demo slash interface apocalypse HUD. I thought that was really cool. I didn't even know this was a thing, but let's go ahead and check it out. So we have these little hot bars and when you click on it, they are interactive. You can see the uh, XP load up or whatever you want this to be for your game, uh, which hot bar you have selected and very easy, very uh, well maintained by Cinti. I really like this. And then for example, we have these little HP bars on the left here and mana or energy on the right and you can kind of configure it to how you want it to. And there's even a little light up on this hot bar where when it's selected, it just lets the user know, hey, this is me. This is what is currently selected right now. And very cool, very cool aesthetics. Let's go ahead and check out the next page. So we have our HP bars. We, If you are making a survival game, there's also thirst, uh, your temperature, hunger levels, hydration levels, radiation levels, even shields and just a ton of variations that you can do. And if you're a controller player, you can open up this little uh, this little uh, menu, uh, easy select menu to just kind of select whatever you want. And overall, really, really nice, really polished looking assets. These look really polished right at the box. We even have a compass bar here. So I have made a tutorial on how to transfer this into Unreal Engine, which is really nice. Um, it is pretty easy to set up and move around depending on where your character is facing. We have a little mini map over here that you can attach to your HUD. Maybe if some character is talking to you, have their image pop up in one of these, kind of give it like a retro Star Fox vibe or even a Metal Gear Solid. And we have another quick hop pop up hot bar right here or quick select tool. Very nice. And then we also have just a very full blown out menu on how you can use this. So up here we have the compass, Top left, we have objectives and a quest. And then, for example, if this is like a battle royale or something, it'll show how many players are remaining, uh, an item you got, who killed who, map updates, up objective updates, chat bars that you can even type into, um, more selections showing what your current gun is, a little talking person, HUD, HP bar, and so on. There's just a ton and ton of variations that you're able to do with this. There's just multiple pages of these showing you how you can use these using different stuff. So if you have a top down, this actually looks very nice for a top down. You can see the target you have selected is showing their HP bar up here. And overall, really cool. You can see the loot down here, your objective over here, and your ally over here and so on in your character with this little ring around it. Uh, just a lot of really small, finer details that indie devs sometimes forget. And luckily, if you are using this HUD pack, it's very easy to just simply drop it in and they show you all the little PNG or sprites that you can easily modify or customize uh, on your own. Little animated reticles, which is really cool, as well as a lot of components, really nice flow in, flow out animations, level ups, uh, and so on. There's just so much that you can do with this asset pack and Cinti HUD packs are probably one of my favorites to work with. Uh, even just for their animations alone, it's really well polished. A uh, little button control menu, which is really nice. And yeah, if you're using a different console like PlayStation, you can get those type of buttons. Maybe this one's for the Switch, uh, for a keyboard, another type of gaming handheld console like the Asus or something. And then there's also big weapon sprites that animate on hover. And these are the sprites that you would attach to your selection tool. So on, and just going over all the weapon from the apocalypse zombies pack, and then they have different styles. So you can have all white. These are all the miscellaneous items or icons. And overall that pretty much covers this tutorial. Uh, if you are going to get this pack, just let me know in the comment below. Feel free to use my affiliate link in the description or my home of link in the description below. I'll probably pin it as a comment. Thanks for watching. Curve the row, like subscribe, comment below. We're going to see you next. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.